Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of a passionate new start, a new beginning. Someone could be coming towards you. This person feels a lot of attraction towards you. They feel a strong spark with you. There's chemistry here, and they are definitely ready to initiate a, a, a passionate new beginning with you. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, Water Energy, the Nine of Cups, Water Energy, and the full Aquarius energy. So it looks like a new love or a new start in love is, is happening for you here. And it's one that's going to be very fulfilling. With the Nine of Cups, it's like a wish fulfillment. Um, very satisfying energy here. Um, so I do see whoever's coming towards you is someone who you will feel that the, the, the attraction will be mutual. There's this feeling of something blossoming and developing into deep love here with the Ace of Cups. And um, very fulfilling with that um nine of cups the full card does make it look like it's someone new or you're wiping the slate clean with someone and you're having a completely fresh start with them and there's this feeling of being really happy with the way things are going okay there's also this openness here okay so let's clarify these cards scorpio Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, and this is Taurus energy. Yeah, it looks like you're about to be in some sort of commitment here. There's definitely a feeling of a higher level of commitment here. Um, and this could be a connection that leads to marriage. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Strength card, Leo energy. We have the Death card, Scorpio energy and the five of wands fire energy so there's some sort of uh chapter in your love life that's ending and something new is starting here with the death card your love life is really transforming for the better it looks like in the past you may have dealt with a situation where you were in a complicated situation where there was a lot of conflict um incompatibilities uh competition this this new love won't be like that so there's a feeling of connecting with someone who they're only focused on you. You won't have to feel like you need to compete to be with this person. They are actively choosing you and focused on you. And there's going to be a healing kind of love with the strength card being here. There's also this feeling of um, love, deep love here, soulmate kind of love with the strength card. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Scorpio. So we have the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So it definitely looks like your love life is picking up here in a positive way. And this new love looks like it's gonna it's like it's gonna show you why it didn't work out with others. There's something very um insightful and uplifting about this love. With the higher offenses, like um it's teaching you something about higher levels of commitment or spirituality and connecting with someone on that kind of level. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, um, Scorpio. Okay, 
Okay, so we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic, your romantic feelings. So it looks like this is a new love coming to you. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. Okay, so we have sweet thoughts. Pray you love, remember. And there are pansies, that's for thoughts. Okay, so there is a message about needing to monitor your thoughts, uh, needing to be open to new love, because this, this does look like it, it's got a lot of potential here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Scorpio. Okay, so we have surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. So there could have been connections in the past where you felt like you had to really fight and force it. And the, this love with the full card, there's something more spontaneous about it, something more like it's meant to be, and you won't have to uh, force it. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.